Hello, Professor Diazio and Suncoast. My name is Destiny Kuntig, and I am a senior at the University of South Florida, St. Petersburg, majoring in finance and minoring in entrepreneurship. I just want to take the time to say thank you to you both for taking the time to listen over the research and steps I have completed for my innovation idea and its business model following. So thank you. Innovation is about change, and I chose to do a topic that I care about deeply. Or topics, I should say. For my Internet of Things innovation idea, it is based around transportation, public safety, efficiency, among a few others. I chose these topics because both I and many people that I love have been affected by the misuse and inefficiency of transportation. When I was 17 years old, I was in a near tragic car accident where I completely blacked out and still don't remember anything. The intersection where my accident occurred, there were live cameras. But these cameras didn't record or sort any record of anything, which means there's no proof of what did or didn't happen. This is one of the points where the Internet of Things could be implemented so that this wouldn't happen again to another person. It's crazy to me how many people are affected by similar stories to mine or even the ones that are different. For example, I couldn't tell you how many times I have traveled by car out of state and seen tragic accidents every couple hundred miles. In Florida, car crashes happen too often, especially due to the negligence of other drivers. In Florida, a car crash occurs every 84 seconds. And as I hate to say it, that means there have been at least two accidents since you started listening to my presentation. There has to be a way to decrease the number of accidents and tragedies that result in inefficiency or misuse of such transportation. For my Internet of Things innovation idea, it is based around transportation, public safety, efficiency, among a few others. I chose these topics because both I and many people that I love have been affected by the misuse and inefficiency of transportation. When I was 17 years old, I was in a near tragic car accident where I completely blacked out and still don't remember anything. The intersection where my accident occurred, there were live cameras, but these cameras didn't record or sort any record of anything, which means there's no proof of what did or didn't happen. This is one of the points where the Internet of Things could be implemented so that this wouldn't happen again to another person. It's crazy to me how many people are affected by similar stories to mine or even the ones that are different. For example, I couldn't tell you how many times I have traveled by car out of state and seen tragic accidents every couple hundred miles. In Florida, car crashes happen too often, especially due to the negligence of other drivers. In Florida, a car crash occurs every 84 seconds. And as I hate to say it, That means there have been at least two accidents since you started listening to my presentation. There has to be a way to decrease the number of accidents and tragedies that result in inefficiency or misuse of such transportation. After conducting some research on the topic of transportation-related incidents, I found some very important statistics that I deemed as extremely relevant. In Florida, a car crash occurs every 84 seconds. That breaks down to 1,026 accidents each day on the Florida roadways, or about 43 car crashes every hour. In 2015, more than 225,000 people sustained injuries in a Florida car accident. Almost 2,500 lost their lives, an 18% increase over the prior year. Based on the average number of United States residents over that period, the annual risk of dying in a transportation-related accident is 1 in 6,800. Transportation-related fatalities constituted just under 2% of the 2.43 million deaths per year from all causes in the United States, or 1 in 56. Transportation accidents accounted for 31.9% of the accidental deaths reported in 2010. Motor vehicle accidents or highway fatalities are responsible for the largest share, accounting for 93% of transportation-related deaths. In U.S. as a whole, an average number of 6 million car accidents happen every year, 3 million of which are injured every year. And the statistics that hurt my heart the most, more than 90% die in car accidents every day. That is 90 entire families hurt and affected by these accidents. There has to be a way to diminish these rates. After conducting some research on the topic of weather-related incidents, I found some very important statistics that I also thought would be relevant. Weather causes many roadway impacts such as low visibility distance, lane obstruction, pavement friction, infrastructure, 
in lane submersion, among many others. Weather-related vehicle accidents contribute to a far higher number of deaths in the United States than large-scale large weather disasters, including tornadoes, hurricanes, and flooding. Approximately 21% of these crashes stated earlier, nearly 1,235,000 are weather-related. The United States Department of Transportation said more than 5.8 million vehicle crashes occur each year based on statistics from 2007 to 2016. About 21% of those, or just over 1.2 million, involved hazardous weather. The majority of the most weather-related crashes happened 70% on wet pavement and 46 during rainfall. On average, nearly 5,000 people are killed and over 418,000 people are injured in weather-related crashes each year. Again, 5,000 entire families hurt and affected by these accidents. There has to be a way to diminish these rates. After conducting some research on the topic of impaired driving, I found some very important statistics that needed to be relevant. Did you know that drunk driving is still the number one cause of death on our roadways? Did you know that two out of three people will be impacted by a drunk driving crash in their lifetime? Think it doesn't impact you? Think again. More likely, it just hasn't impacted you yet. Every two minutes, someone is injured in a drunk driving crash, and every 51 minutes, someone is killed. Every 51 minutes, a life, a family, a community is impacted. There has to be a way to diminish these rates. Luckily, there are some organizations out there that are bringing attention to the drinking and driving problem, such as MAD, an acronym for Mothers Against Drunk Driving. In 1980, a very small, unassuming kitchen table where one mom started a movement that would significantly change the course of history in the U.S. They are asking anyone and everyone to join this table with no reservation needed. The mission of Mothers Against Drunk Driving is to end drunk driving, help fight drugged driving, support the victims of these violent crimes, and prevent underage drinking. They offer volunteer and advocation options so that you can help make a difference in this large and deadly problem. Another organization is AAA, an acronym for American Automobile Association. They recognize that while reductions in impaired driving have been made, much more can be done to reduce alcohol and drug-related crashes, injuries, and deaths. Working together to resolve this crisis is a shared responsibility, and AAA is dedicated to promoting driver safety through education and advocacy. With the attention pointing at diminishing these unfortunate deadly rates, these organizations are out here trying to make a difference, trying to make a change, a very needed change. You may be thinking, now what else can we do to diminish these horrible statistics? Well, I'm so glad you thought that. This is where my innovation idea comes into play. Now, to be able to understand exactly how my business idea would work, we need to evaluate the nine building blocks of the business model canvas. First, we'll start with customer segments, value propositions, channels, customer relationships, revenue streams, key resources, key activities, key partnerships, and cost structure. But first, we're going to introduce the Transporter app. Once you open the app, it will prompt you a question asking you, where do you want to go? This is where you'll put in the address of your destination in. Whether in the United States or international, down the street or down the interstate, it will not matter. It will then ask you a series of questions. How much time do you have? Are you traveling with anyone? Which is your preferred way to travel to your destination? What is your budget for traveling, and do you prefer non-weather permitting transportation? The Transporter app will automatically take your answers and analyze the safest and most efficient way or route of transportation for you. It will analyze everything from the weather to the time of day, the affordability of travel, the safety, to the cost effectiveness, and etc. Whichever way, the result was perfectly generated and customized for your exact situation to travel. Once the desired route or way of travel has been chosen, the app will automatically redirect you to the website, app, or company needed to book it, such as Uber, Lyft, or even Delta or American Airlines, all depending on your chosen way. To do this, those live cameras that I previously spoke about with my accident will all have chips and sensors added to them so that they can record and store all of the footage ever made at that intersection. 
With doing this, we can accurately predict the weather at the desired time of travel, the amount of traffic at said time, and will generate the best route or way of transportation for you to get to your point B. This idea will appeal to anyone and everyone that travels, whether on a daily basis or rarely. Regardless, when traveling to any destination, the value proposition of the app will be what people use to determine everything from the weather to the best time of day to travel, the affordability to travel, the safety, the cost of effectiveness, and etc. And with the channels being something as simple as the app store, this will alleviate any stress or complications of making this readily available. With offering different and more advanced features and better rates with premium options, we can build different customer relationships. And with the premium options being available for purchase, we can clearly outline some of our revenue streams. Our key resources and partners will include the app developers and all partnered businesses that will be linked to the app, which will also be considered as a revenue stream. We would then move on to the key activities, which would be routine updates, improvements, and bug fixes in the app itself. And lastly, the cost structure, which will be at an average of $270,000 startup cost to properly create and manage and perfect the app. With the paid premium feature options and the paid partnerships with travel companies, this startup cost will be surpassed in no time. But firstly, we're going to need your help and approval, Suncoast. The business model is an abstract concept to help understand how a business works. It is essential in identifying innovation in the open innovation paradigm. Innovation must be tied to the business model to be qualified as innovation, which directly relates to carefully considering how the business model would work and change with my innovative solutions. Also relating what I've learned with the project, open innovation has made inroads in the public sector. It is one of the most active scenarios in the development of smart cities that encompass a variety of streams from open data to citizens participation or the use of traditional open innovation intermediaries in the provision of services. Which does sound like a lot, but relates directly to the open innovation used in this course of the innovation imperative in our overall project in this class. These, among many others, hold the responsibility of the very important and vital information I've learned during this innovation project. I feel as if the Transporter app would be an amazing asset to have in our community and as well as across the globe. With being directly affected by the inefficiency of transportation, I have extremely high hopes that one, such as Suncoast, would take this idea and go off with it. Thank you for taking the time to listen, as I will be patiently waiting with my fingers crossed. Have a great day.